Abstract Creo Electron Tomography, Creo ET, allows observing macromolecular complexes in their natural environment. Subtomogram averaging, STA, can extract the 3D structure of abundant macromolecular complexes, but it is limited by the small number of complexes observed. To overcome this limitation, alternative methods are being explored to analyze the continuity of conformational landscapes provided by in-situ CREO-ET studies. One such approach is MDT-OMO, which uses molecular dynamics MD, simulations to generate an atomic scale model of conformational variability and the corresponding free energy landscape from a given set of CREO-ET subtomograms. This method has been successfully applied to both synthetic and in-situ SARS-CoV-2 spike datasets. It provides insight into the dynamic properties of macromolecules, which could be used for structure-based drug discovery. This article was authored by Remy Vuimo, Isabel Ruya, and Slavika Jonik. We are article.tv, links in the description below.